Hello and welcome. My name is Nate from Video Games Recon, and in this series of videos, I will be discussing all of the weapons from Call of Duty Ghosts, giving my opinion on the weapon in question and its characteristics. Keep in mind that this video will probably be released before any patches, so the guns may change somewhat by the time you watch this video. And as an FYI, this series was filmed before I had prestiged and thus obviously didn't have all the weapons available to compare. So most of the footage in this series will feature bots. Also all weapons in this series will have like for like attachments where possible to try and make the comparison fair. Anywho, enough of my jibber jabber and without any further ado, let's do it to it. The Bulldog is the only true semi-automatic shotgun available, with one of the highest fire rates in its class, and is very similar in nature to that of an S12 from Black Ops 2. However, unlike the S12, which was heavily stunted by its ability to take down targets at almost any range, this gun fares a lot better in comparison. Not because it's a great deal better, but because all shotguns in Call of Duty Ghosts seem to have pitiful accuracy and range without adding a slug round attachment. Also, the Bulldog has very low recoil and 6 rounds in a magazine, which doesn't sound like much and should put it in the territory of an MTS, but thanks to the very fast reload time, this gun is far more useful than the MTS, which seems to take an age to reload even with sleight of hand. The FP6 is a pump action shotgun and has the strongest damage of all weapons in its class, as well as having moderate accuracy and range, which really doesn't say a lot as the range on all the shotguns and ghosts is just embarrassing. So this weapon is a bit of a double edged sword, as it has one hit kill stopping power for days, but due to the poor range of all shotguns you have to get pretty close, which to be fair is expected with a shotgun, but if there are multiple targets in the local vicinity, you may come up short due to the slow fire rate of pump action shotguns. This is the obligatory novelty weapon of its class, as the MTS 255 is a revolver shotgun with a 5 round cylinder magazine which has a decent fire rate, the best accuracy in this category, while simultaneously having one of the worst ranges in this class. But all of this is irrelevant, as the major flaw with this weapon is the incredibly slow reload times, and extremely high recoil characteristics. So the only thing this weapon excels in is originality and fun, but an effective weapon it is not, even on the smallest of maps. The TAC-12 is the second of the pump action shotguns available and comes with a built-in smart choke that gives a tighter shot spread when aiming down sights. Also this gun has the largest ammo capacity in the shotgun class with 10 rounds in the underbarrel tube magazine which is very helpful as it means you don't need to reload as often which can be quite time consuming with pump action shotguns. Also this gun has moderate recoil and good damage. However. Where this gun really comes into its own is when you ADS, as the smart choke really helps you pick out targets at a good range for a shotgun. Plus with the inclusion of slug rounds, this is probably the closest you're going to come to a KSG from Black Ops 2. So that's my thoughts and analysis of the shotgun category. This class really isn't the easiest to use, as the sort of distances that you need to engage your targets from are ridiculously small, so you really need to set up your class to increase your mobility and speed so you can get all up in the enemy's grill. Also, a couple of tactical grenades couldn't hurt to help confuse the enemy. Anywho, as I touched on at the start of this video, it's still early days in the life of Call of Duty Ghosts so my opinion on these guns may change over time. 
but for now this is how I feel about the characteristics and usefulness of the weapons available so far. So it's that time again to choose my favourite and least favourite weapons in this category. So the best shotgun in my opinion is the Bulldog as all the shotguns have very short ranges within which they can get kills from. So you really need to be up in the face of your enemies which is what the Bulldog is perfect for because it's practically designed for this. Plus you know better than to even try to get kills at any distances further than a few meters and instead use it purely to rush the enemy. These things combined with its incredibly low recoil, high fire rate and fast reload times make it my favourite shotgun. However, as a side note you may want to equip extended mags and a muzzle brake to get the most out of this weapon. As for the worst in this class, I'd have to go with the MTS 255. Even though this gun is one of the most fun shotguns to use, as it has bad range, low ammo capacity and slow reload times. However, by far the worst thing about this gun is the crippling recoil, which means you miss nearly as many shots on target as you hit. So unless you just want to have some fun, I'd give this gun a miss. That was my opinion on the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts. Feel free to leave your thoughts on the guns featured in this video in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing for more BS of a similar nature. Thank you and goodbye.